My name is Melchizedek Leo, and we will be discussing the poisoning disaster in Manamata Bay, Japan. Below is the title and content layout. Feel free to pause if you want to read it further. The objective of the lesson is to examine the discovery of methylmercury, its impact in Manamata City, and what remains. The genesis of the disease was identified on a young girl in 1956 showing signs of neurological symptoms. These symptoms consist of convulsions as well as trouble walking and speaking. In the beginning, there were reports of impaired senses, but still the picture and the pathology of these experiences was still cloudy. Until finally, a couple years later in 1959, researchers from the local Kumamoto University discovered extremely elevated levels of mercury poisoning in the Manamata water. Upon this discovery, this disease was then named Manamata disease, or MD. So, what or where is Manamata Bay? It's a small town along the coast of the Yatsushiro Sea, otherwise known as the Shiranui Sea in South Japan. These waters are known to contain an abundant amount of fishes with a great variety of marine life. This was also the only industrialized city in the area, which is where the Chiso Corporation's factory was located. One can already theorize the health implications that the presence of this factory may have in the marine life of the area. So as the case was growing and gaining notoriety among people on fish-based diets, it was obvious that this company was the source for the prevalence of MD. Chiso Corporation is a chemical factory. During the years of 1938 to 1968, their wastewater flowed into the Manamata Bay. Scientists and investigators then discovered the water's contamination containing methylmercury, which gave rise to the high prevalence of MD symptoms. Which you can see from the illustration, the fishes in the same water were exposed and poisoned, which puts the consumers at risk. Besides identifying the symptoms from humans, people in the area even noticed abnormal behaviors from the fishes itself that floated on the surface of the waters with their bellies up, birds who flew above this water fell straight from the skies, and even cats that ran straight into the water due to sal salivation. People thought they were trying to commit suicide. Besides the young girl from the first slide who displayed symptoms, the accumulation of these abnormal behaviors from animals accelerated the demand for answers which implicated the Chisel Corporation. Although they were the obvious source, and in the beginning of the outbreak, scientists discovered 27 tons of mercury compounds in the Manamata Bay water, they continuously denied responsibility. They refused to cooperate with investigations, all while continuing to contaminate the water and not changing their method of production. On this graph, you can see the toll of tons discovered in the water from the Chiso Company from 1972 to 1975. Notice how in 1973, it reached a climax of 400 tons, which then decreased. This may have been due to the denial of guilt, thus sustaining their methods of manufacturing, which then changed as much evidence came out. In the beginning of the discovery of this case, people were asymptomatic and then displayed symptoms over time. When they displayed symptoms of MD, they tried to file lawsuits and associating it with the wastewater from the Chiso company. But as you can see from the graph, only a few applicants were diagnosed and certified 
for restitutions by the government and the company. Over the course of the water contamination, 2,252 patients have been officially recognized as having MD, and 1,043 people have died. So let's look at what remains. Numerous legal actions against the company took place. Some were successful as well as unsuccessful. One of the potential successes consisted of the former president of the company being sentenced to two years in prison, which was overruled when the case reached their Supreme Court. After a hard-fought battle in 2019, the Japanese government approved a measure to provide compensations to victims, requiring the company to pay 3.15 billion yams, as well as the prefectural government and the company issuing a 106 billion yens to victims in a separate ruling. And as you can see in the graph, the decline of mercury demand over the years, which declined in 1964, but it was overall at a high rate from 1956, and it declined over the years. The summary of this lesson involved the discovery of MD through its symptoms of sensory impairment in the locals of Manamata City. Investigators discovering the disease pathology and the Chiso Corporation as the source. Thousands were affected either by morbidity or mortality. And I think there's a lack of sufficient raw data. It's virtually impossible to know the accurate number of affected or even dead. I think this lack is predominantly a result of Chiso Corporation refusing to be accountable or delaying their responsibility, thus hundreds of victims not being accounted as certified patients. This serves as a lesson to developing countries where they're trying to promote short-term solutions for economic development by the means of industrialization. This may be at the cost of population and environmental health. Thus, proper measures of assessments need to be, needs to be conducted in order to avoid similar catastrophes.